Look at that. This is the Miro board of our family search for the ideal place in the world where we all can live together. Good morning, friends. Today is a very special day for our family. Let me show you what we're up to today. This is the Miro board of our family search for the ideal place in the world where we all can live together. My grandma, my dad, his wife, me, my son, Elena, Leo's mom, my ex-partner, Joey, and still all needs are being met from each one of us and the needs of the planet as a whole, the upcoming seven generations, the local village where we live in, future community members, future retreat participants who are coming there for a transformative experience. All those needs are being met. Many people ask me when they see us doing videos from beautiful places like here where you have beaches around you and so on. People ask me, why don't you live here full time? Bike! Yeah. So we go to the bike. I just want to tell a quick story. Here's the answer. Look at this. You're standing in front of trees, like a little forest. You want to go down there? Yeah. But it's not nice to go down there. Down there. I show you. It's so dry. There's so few rain in those areas close to the beach that the whole vegetation is not really green it's more brown like when i look into this Papa. forest here it's very yeah oh yeah yeah oh, these these leaves are edible they are nice nice Papa. spotted you can eat them yeah yeah you can eat them you can eat them <laughs> there's Papa. a little bit of greenery but not really when i compare that to where we live where everything is so lush and vibrant yeah this makes a lot of difference. It's so dry here that even they need to import drinking water in trucks. And I don't want to live in a place where the drinking water needs to be imported by trucks coming from other places in the island. That fundamentally feels wrong. criteria for Leo and for me is that we have fresh fruits and veggies growing all year round which is not suitable in these areas you cannot grow anything here besides algae <laughs> yeah only algae huh maybe the occasional banana or coconut but besides that not a lot is growing here it's pretty dry so beach unfortunately Happy 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 and at the same time it's one of Elena's most essential design criteria that she can go surfing <laughs> which is a challenge so we need green and lush and vibrant areas where our Papa. beloved fruits are growing all year round and still considerably close so that Elena is able to to surf here and there will make for a tough challenge to figure out a place where these two essential needs overlap and since the only and most important design criteria for 
the earth as a whole and the next seven generations is that we live on an ecological footprint of 1.0 or lower so a lifestyle that would work for each and everybody on this planet so that we cause minimal burden to the biosphere by the lifestyles that we live in it it only makes sense to eat regionally to eat what is growing there where you live when you live at a place where all or 80% of the food you eat needs to be imported that makes an ecological footprint of 1.0 almost impossible so yeah it would technically work to live on the beach and enjoy those beautiful watermelons that we are enjoying each and every day but then this wouldn't work for the planet as a whole and for future generations because we are consuming much more resources than it's ours to consume which is a disservice for these little ones for Leo's kids and for Leo's grandkids and for Leo's great grandkids so we cannot do that either we need to eat what is growing where we live so we need to choose where we live wisely Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> or, if it's not compatible, these two needs, then Papaya. one of the stakeholders needs to drop their essential design criteria from absolutely essential to would be very great, but if not possible, I'm willing to drop this need, which will be, which will be difficult too. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how we will be able to combine all those needs in one place. Yeah. Down. Down? Wanna go home to mommy? Yeah. Bike? Let's go. Always following Leo's impulses. That's the best. Like Leo Leo is the Leo is the energetic center of our family system. So Leo's needs are at the center. Leo's needs are the most important. Yeah. Like without Leo we all wouldn't be on this mission like with, oh, without Leo I wouldn't be connected to Elena without Leo my grandma wouldn't be coming to Bali my, my dad wouldn't be coming to Bali maybe I would have lived I would have I would have been living here in Bali a completely different life I don't know like Leo is the energetic center his needs are number one and then we all line line up after that and of course our needs are important too if we feel like we are fundamentally sacrificing things that are essential to us we cannot serve Leo in the best way possible but it's always an important reminder that his, his needs are yeah was denn Leo was denn Spatz Mama Rolla Mama okay let's go back home finally back home back home we arrived he slept the whole three hours oh my god see but Long drive. <laughs> Look at that. We made it back. We just slept Oma. the whole three hours. Oma, your yeah, arm was in Germany, unfortunately. Last time you saw Amo, it was here, huh? But she's in Germany. But I will bring her back soon. But for now, we are only Opa. the three of us. Yeah, Opa's in Germany too. Two. Leo and Papa and Joey. And the mountains. We still have. Oh, and we got so many ripe pineapples. Look at that. Wow! Ripe pineapples and ripe bananas are awaiting us. Epic! I mean, friends, just look at this. Just look at this. Oh, <laughs> isn't it the most beautiful place in the world? For me, it is. Now, we're gonna put into practice what I showed you this morning. I have a call with the rest of the family and we'll dive into exactly this. Oh, my robot on the search for the ideal place. Seeing my grandma 
that wasted after a week in Germany after a week without Leo with her without her great grandson without her purpose in life wow 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 He's, she's really suffering. She's really, really suffering. It strengthens my determination to move into this direction as quickly as possible because she's already 82. There's a certain sense of of urgency, and I, I really, I, I said to her, Grandma, if you are living here with us, and you are every day with Leo, and you're living an active life, and you're working in the garden, and you're walking, and like. I really believe that you can be still around and get to know Leo's children and become a great, great grandma. I sense that you can live up to a hundred. Maybe in 18 years. <laughs> This little boy already produces the next generation. Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, we're starting our exploration process of the of the different needs, the different requirements of each and every one of us. There's not a not a result, not a, an outcome, but a beautiful step in the right direction. Yeah, everything else will come and follow in the next couple of days and weeks. Here's Leo. Here's Leo. Mm. Let's have some dinner. Okay, before we close this video and we will have dinner, Joey and Leo are already preparing our delicious yumminess. I want to show you the essential design criteria of Leo. What are the most essential needs a place has to offer for it to be perfectly aligned with him and Leo being a placeholder for other children? As I said, this is not complete. This is a work in progress, but the priority one needs are that all his loved ones are around. That's the most important thing. It's like more important than any other criteria. Of course, it needs to be safe so that he can explore. Like, just explore, like, just go, just go without any fear that um, something bad might happen. He needs wild nature. He needs a temperature of 20 degrees plus year round so <laughs> that he can make use of his minimalistic wardrobe. He can potentially even live in tents. He can be barefoot and naked most of the time. And he wants to have children of other conscious parents um, around that are being raised in a similar way. What else is important? Quietude, no traffic, clean air, fruits and veggies growing all year round. Important too, but maybe a little bit less important than the other ones, a river, a waterfall or another water source um, on the land for him to explore and to play with. So quite likely you by now get a sense of the complexity because Leo has certain needs and for example my grandma has other needs. For my grandma it's, it's good to have like really wild nature but it's equally important to have a local village nearby where she can go and explore and have little have like little shops where she can like roam around and uh, immerse herself into the local culture and these are different needs that are equally important and it's our gargantuan task to bring all of them together in one place where we all can thrive together where Leo can thrive where I can thrive where grandma can thrive where Elena can thrive, where Joey can thrive, where my dad can thrive, where Annie can thrive, and where potentially in the future even my mom and my brother, and we are like really all uniting the whole family. This is the vision that we are on with each and every passing day, one step closer towards this vision. And then in the next step, of course, to broaden this and invite other families too, invite other children, invite other parents, invite other impact entrepreneurs and invite invite other people really caring about the manifestation of the more beautiful world and our embodiment of that and this is what we call custodia let's build it let's fucking build it <laughs> <laughs>